Developing news now. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker is getting a look at the damage from a tornado that touched down overnight in the town of Concord. And we first reported on the storm on Eyewitness News this morning and the confirmation that it was a tornado was breaking at noon. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live in our studio with new information. Mike Shannon, most of Concord fared well in the storm. The tornado only damaged about a half mile section of the town, but where it did hit, it hit hard. Take a look at the damage yourself, captured by Eyewitness News. The twister ripped trees out of the ground and snapped telephone poles in half, branches and power lines everywhere. The National Weather Service confirms an EF1 tornado touched down around 3 o'clock this morning in Concord, Massachusetts. That's about an hour north of Providence. One of the hardest hit areas, Independence and Alcott roads. Crews are working furiously to get the trees out of the roadways and off of people's property. Officials say all in all, more than three dozen homes were damaged, but thankfully, no one was hurt. And we have 39 houses that were damaged in some way, uh, but miraculously, just one house with significant uh, structural damage. So 39 houses damaged. Uh, one house with significant structural damage, uh, concentrating now on opening the roads, getting good access into these neighborhoods. And Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker just finished surveying the damage. We'll bring you his reaction coming up new at 6. Kim Kaludian, Eyewitness News. And Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca has been also gathering information on the tornado in Concord. He continues our pinpoint weather team coverage with more on the tornado strength and track. Tony? Oh, Mike and Shannon, while tornadoes rare for New England, certainly not uncommon. As Kim had mentioned, you know, we categorize the strength of tornadoes on what is called a Fujita scale from zero to five. A zero is very weak. The five of those huge catastrophic ones you tend to find in Tornado Alley, Texas, Oklahoma. This was an EF1, which means the winds are estimated anywhere from 86 to as high as 100 miles per hour. And the National Weather Service uh, survey damage team today estimating those winds at 100 miles per hour. It will take you back to around 3.15 this morning on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar on his Concord. And it's right in here. Doesn't look like much, but this deep area of red, this small but powerful storm, a severe thunderstorm. And, you know, the Doppler radar can also see not only the winds inside the storm, but the speed of the wind and the direction that the wind is blowing. What we call this is the velocity scan. What does this all mean, all these red and greens? Well, you know, the Doppler radar, we're looking for something called a velocity couplet. In other words, little pixels of green and red right next to each other. And it's right in here in Concord. This indicates, uh, this red and green side by side indicates that there's some rotation within the thunderstorm. And it's why this, uh, the the tornado warning uh, was issued uh, for that area. In fact, here is the path of the storm. As Kim had mentioned, it was about a half mile long, 400 yards wide, with winds estimated to be around 100 uh, miles per hour. Certainly a lot quieter now. The cold front responsible for all this severe weather is now long gone and offshore. Drier air working in in quieter conditions, but we'll certainly keep you updated as the survey of the damage continues out in Concord, Mass. Full forecast coming up in a little bit.